Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. Are you working with Oracle NetSuite? Are you facing difficulty in assigning a collector to the customer in NetSuite? If so, then this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps to create custom fields for assigning a collector to the customer record in NetSuite. Before we get started, please ensure that your custom role has permission to custom entity fields, employee record, and customer record. Check with your NetSuite administrator if you are unsure or need required permissions. Now, let's get started. As you can see, I'm logged into my NetSuite account and I am working in a role which has appropriate permissions. Additionally, I'm in the Classic Center role, so your menu paths might be slightly different than mine. So to get started today, we need to identify collectors in NetSuite, and we need to assign the same collectors to the customer record. So the first thing we would want to do is to go look at an employee record or a list of employees, and we can see that there is no standard field to identify an employee as a collector. So we are the first thing we're going to do is create a custom checkbox field on the employee record so that we can identify the employee as a collector. So we, to do that, we are going to navigate to customization, list records and forms, and fields, excuse me. We're going to go to the entity fields and new. And we'll, we're going to have a screen like this. I've already got this populated for us. Um, so I have to type live. So we're going to give it a label of, is this a collector? We're going to say the field type is a checkbox. And we're going to say that this new field applies only to the employee record. We would not want to put this on any of our, our other entity types. And then we're going to save that. From that, from here, now we can go to the employee record and we can see that we now have a field on the employee record. I'm, here I am on an employee record and I have a checkbox now for is collector here on the employee record. Again, you won't see this field in your NetSuite system. This is a custom field that I just created for my NetSuite account. So now that we have a list of collectors in NetSuite based on the checkbox on the employee record, we need to create a second custom field that lives on the customer record and that would allow us to assign the collector. We, we could see all the collectors in our system and we could assign a collector to a customer. So we're going to repeat the steps we did above. We are going to go to customization, list records and fields. We're going to go down to entity fields and across to new. From there, we are going to, sorry, I clicked on the wrong thing there. Let me just do this. From there, we're going to go new. I've already created my field, as you can see. I'm going to give it the label of collector. This time, on my type of field, I'm instead of checkbox, which I did before, we're now saying that we want to look at a list or record. Basically, this is not going to be freeform text, but we want them to pick from a list of employees. So we're going to say list record there. And then down below in this field, we're going to say we want to look at an employee at the list of employees. So we're going to select the employee there. And now down here under applies to, instead of employee this time, we're going to say customer. So this field collector will live on the customer record only. And now I want to limit my results. I don't want to see a list of all employees. I only want to see a list of employees where I have said that the is collector is yes. So I'm going to go down here and I'm just going to replicate what I have. I'm going to scroll down in my field and I'm going to say is collector. And then I'm going to come over here and under is checked, I'm going to say yes. So I'm just duplicating here so you can see the process. Let me cancel that out. So here I'm saying this field is going to be a list field and it's going to look at the record type of an employee. It's only going to be displayed on the customer record. And I'm also saying that I want to limit the results of my field to those employees where the is collector checkbox is set to true or yes. 
so now if I come over to a customer record here and here's my customer you can scroll back up to the top this is my customer record and I put my field to display on the financial tab that makes sense to me you can display it wherever you would like and so here are my collectors and as you can see I have three options of people that I have assigned as collectors if I go back over here to my employee and let's just look at a list of employees to see how many employees we have we have 1,198 employees, but I've only identified three employees as collectors. So that's how that filter works. I only have three options here. So I can select the person I want to be the collector. And then once I'm done with that, then I would just save my customer record. So we have successfully created two custom fields one to indicate which employees specific employees are a collector with a checkbox on the employee record and the second field to assign the collector to the customer record we also walk through how to check the box on the employee record as well as assigning the collector to the customer record please keep in mind that you can find a quick guide for any topic in NetSuite help or in Suite answers for Sweet Answers, you would navigate to Support and then go to Sweet Answers, and there you can search um, for keywords or any required topic. I hope you have followed along with the steps involved in creating custom fields and assigning a collector to a customer. Thank you for watching today. Stay tuned for more. The next video talks about customer segmentation, which involves steps to categorize customers.